Resident Evil. What an episode. What an episode. Bumming around, not knowing what we're doing for 20 minutes. Man. Couldn't think of a better way to do things. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Code Veronica. With me, OX Fu. <laughs> and last episode... Well, we got the power running downstairs, so we can actually uh, open up the lab area with Chris. Which means... Not a whole lot, actually. But... We can start... Um, I'll drop those off for now, it doesn't... I'm not gonna use them. Not when I've got so much pistol ammo. Probably does more damage, too, honestly. Um... She probably does about the same. I don't know. I'm not... I've not looked up any numbers online. Anyway. Well, you'll see in a second what we found, anyway. We found a protective suit! Three protective suits. One for Chris. One for Claire. One for Wesker. Maybe... Hmm. From what I understand, it was pretty much after this game that they rebooted the entire series in Resident Evil 4. Because <laughs> Wesker is kind of the uh, the recurring villain at this at this stage. So, I don't know. Yeah, we'll put the jewel back and then we'll never do anything with this guy again. I don't know, maybe we'll need him again. Maybe not. Hmm. So, last time I opened up this chamber and... There are a bunch of bugs in here. And if you don't know, if you didn't hear me talk about it earlier when moths were landing on Chris Claire's back, laying babies, essentially, I am not the biggest fan of the creepies and the crawlies. Oh, hello. In fact, one of my biggest fears is things crawling on me. So, I am going to kill all of these in a very concerned fashion. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> I might need to get a knife. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to waste all 300 rounds that we have on us in attempt to cleanse this room. <laughs> We just step on them. Okay, it seemed like they were damaging us or something earlier. Ooh, wait a minute. That looks like blood. That is blood. The other question, actually. Can we... No. I was wondering if we could drive them away with the light. I know, that, that area reminds me kind of... Yeah, what has happened here? I just wanted the herb, but I mean, come on, what's what's been going on? Alright, we're not going to use that right away. I'm not the fool I once was. Oh, there we go. We gotta... We gotta walk. Otherwise... Never mind. What happened? I was squishing them all over the place. Now they're hurting me. Alright, come on. Um, hmm. I 
Okay, so if they walk into me, they'll hurt me. But if I walk into them, I'll kill them. <laughs> Seems like a fair trade-off for me. Alright, I need to get that herb. I need to combine it with the other herb. We can, um... Get rid of the octagonal valve handle. We can just convert it at this point, I think. Why didn't I do that when I was in there? I'm an idiot. Back in we go! <laughs> I'm getting that herb. to respawn. Okay. I am taking a little damage from them, it seems. So... Yeah, I'm down to orange. Okay. Should have waited until I'm down to danger. Wait a minute. Um, see, I don't know what's going to be down in that water tank, so I'm going to wait until I'm down to danger, because I don't... We're going to have to go through that minefield of bugs again, but I don't want to carry hold on to everything right now, so... You drop off a dragonfly wing, some magnum bullets. Keep thinking <laughs> that this is like. It has sort of the lanky appearance of like. aliens in popular movies, like the tall greys or something like that. So I keep thinking that. Wow, Resident Evil, you really pulled a curveball this time. <laughs> I mean, that would be interesting, but it would be kind of weird. Alright. Now, who among you love elevator rides? I know I do. Which is why we're gonna be going on two of them. I wish there was a way to just skip these loading screens now. Oh. Especially... This one. Come on. Is there no way to skip the elevator scene? Oh my god, that cutscene was thrilling. Had me absolutely enraptured. Anyway. <laughs> Be hilarious if I forgot the uh, the valve handle, wouldn't it? Fortunately, I'm not that kind of fool. <laughs> ah, there we go. We can finally find out what's down there. Um, I sort of enjoy how Chris holds the, uh, the lighter right below his pant leg as he climbs up and down ladders. <laughs> okay. Hello! I'm gonna heal now. And then I'm going to shoot you. <sighs> yeah. 
you're not getting the jump on me. I've been around glass windows in Resident Evil games before. I knew what was afoot. Gotta be careful with these, though. I don't want to blow them all on those guys. I just want to blow away those guys. All right. So, have we done everything in all the other rooms? Are we ready to trap ourselves in here? I think we are. Are you still alive? Who could have done this? It looked like for a second like the heart was pounding. But I guess I was just imagining. Now time to fight as a spider. I'm kidding, I'm running away. <laughs> I'm not fighting this guy right now. I don't have the equipment to fight him. I'm already down to caution again. Come on. I'm not gonna fight him if I don't have to. It's madness. I got better things I can do with Chris. Better things I can waste Chris's life on. Life on. Like dingy elevator rides. Yeah. You go, Chris. You show that spider who's boss. No. Oh. oh. Well. This looks quite nice once you get the power back on. Ah. Go on, Chris. Take a ride. Take a minute to forget what you're doing. Forget all your cares. Another wing object. How many of these are we going to get? How did I not notice that the power was on <laughs> earlier? <laughs> oh, it's still blinding. <laughs> I'm gonna close my eyes as I go through that room, otherwise I'll never make it. The only way I can see a thing is if I half close my eyes. Alright, so... Wait a minute. Where did the other magnum rounds go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, game. It's like the only thing that Chris has right now. Okay. Um. Oh yes, I want to save. And then we'll go uh, gallivanting through a field of bugs. I can't wait. I wonder if I should have waited to start the spider ordeal. Well, actually, I'm going to have to do it anyway, because that was Alexander's, uh... Earring? Was it that dropped? Well, it was Alexander's jewel that I have to put in a portrait in any case. So we've got Alexia's. We've got Alexander. Oh, Alexander's, we know where it is. We just need Alfred's. And Alfred fell down a pit. Into who knows where. So I'm guessing the way we get to that who knows where 
is by following this pit down to the... wherever it goes. If Alfred's still alive, I'm... I quit. That's it. Like, if Alfred's still alive, that's it. Just... done. <laughs> It's a little too ridiculous for me at that point. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Excuse me for a bit. I'm just gonna murder some bugs for like half an hour. Oh. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Chris, never go into extermination. I'm gonna be even worse than the guy from the borrowers. Seriously, you can't hit a goddamn thing, Chris. Alright, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Screw the consequences. Screw that I'm probably already at orange. No, I'm still at yellow, okay. <laughs> I should have gotten out a weapon before I went in here, shouldn't I? Yes. Yes, I should have. But it seems like it's only a zombie, so... We're good. I can take care of this. Yeah, we're good. I see that zombie right there, too. Don't think I'm foolish enough to fall for your trickery. Ah, Veronica, huh? Finally meet her. Research report on Queen Ant. Wait, was that an ant we were fighting in the room with the crane, not a spider? Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's Alexia Ashford. I can't do Alexia's voice, because I'm not a woman. I'm not even going to try Alexia's voice. After discovering the remains of an ancient virus within the genes of a queen ant, I've begun concentrating on the research of ants. I've gotten a huge ant farm, and I'm watching where they're tunneling their tunnels. It's fascinating. The ecosystem... E <laughs> the ecosystem of the ants seems truly ideal to me. There's one queen ant in each anthill, and the soldier and worker ants are the queen slaves. They dedicate their lives to the queen. I wish I could be a queen like that. <laughs> the death of the queen ant means the doom of the entire anthill. However, the soldier and worker ants can be easily replaced as long as the queen ant is alive. This is exactly the same relationship between myself and the other ignorant masses. I don't have an ego at all. I have succeeded in creating an ideal virus by implanting the queen's ant, queen ants gene into the mother virus that Spencer found. Spencer. I used my otherwise useless father as a test subject. However, as I expected, the virus caused a rapid change in his cells, triggering complete destruction of his brain cells and body flesh. Furthermore, a special type of poison gas was generated inside his body that the blue herb had no effect against. Because of this, I created an antidote in case of emergency, and stored it inside of the weapon slash chemical warehouse on the B2 floor. I have decided to name this virus with unimaginable potential, the T. Veronica virus. When I find out how I can utilize the power of this wonderful virus, my great research will finally be complete. Alexia Ashford. Yeah, okay. Is that going all uh, Metroid Prime on me? Telling me where I have to go? Ah, an old style alcohol lamp. Some alcohol is still left inside. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. Drink up. Ah. Some more green herbs, that's gonna come in handy. Is 
See, I don't get why... I don't get why the amount of blue herb... I've gotten poison, like, twice this entire game. Come on. Oh, is he actually dead? Interesting. If you lie to me, game, you'd better be dead. That game. Come on. Game, this is not fair. I clearly tried aiming. I clearly shot. At him. At him at least I shot. Come on. <laughs> I feel cheated, game. Oh, well, is this the queen ant? The queen ant is dead. The ant hell seems to have perished. So, this is telling me what? That I have to kill Alexia? No kidding. I could have told you that from the very beginning. Computer terminal. It must have been soaked up to a supercomputer. No other way. No? Okay. Just checking. I wouldn't be surprised. So that was completely pointless. Okay. Um, hmm. <sighs> there was no reason for me to get eaten up by those ga those zombies that way. Terrible at this. There's no good way to do this. <laughs> I mean, I understand that's kind of the point, because, like, who realistically would go through and try stabbing all of these? But, come on. I need to preserve my health. Okay. Big things behind this door, I can tell. Hoo hoo hoo! Building the tension. Um. Yes? Big things happening in here? There's gotta be, it was loading for quite a while. Ah! Yes? Ah, the virus research report. One second while I find out whose voice is whose? It's Alexia Ashford again, so I'll be reading it in my normal voice. Work continues on the T. Veronica virus, which I extracted from the Queen Ant. The more research I conduct on it, the more I am impressed by how much potential it has. I have finally implanted the virus into my own body, and discovered how to utilize its power. I will avoid making the mistake that I made on my father. I will suppress the activity of the virus at an ultra-low temperature so that my cells will change slowly. So that's why the Antarctic base. My calculations indicate that it will take 15 years before my body will gain immunity and become able to co coexist with the virus. Until then, 
I have no choice but to trust the capsule to trust the capsule that I will be in to that inept but loyal soldier ant who is my brother. For me to obtain unlimited power, some risks need to be taken. When I awaken, I will be the queen! A great and powerful queen! And the tea vi- Oh, what is it? No, a, uh... A beautiful and terrible queen. And the T. Veronica virus will be unleashed upon the entire world by my children. Every last creature on earth will exist to serve me. At that time, the world will achieve the perfect ecosystem. Just, just like the anthill, but on a much grander scale. I would have completely missed that. If not for that, uh, giant screen. Good on ya, game designers. Good on ya. As twins, Alexia and I are two sides of a coin. A design is carved under the name of Alexia. Hart, Spade, Alfred Ashford, King. There's a button with a design. Push the button. Yeah. Hart, Spade, that thing. That thing, there's no response. Okay. I think I see what's going on here. No wait. No I don't. Never mind. Um Did I just switch it around? <laughs> yes. Uh that thing. That thing. That thing. That thing. Okay. Hmm. Do I have to wait for Claire to get in a similar room on the other side or something? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna see you guys next time. Um, let's blindly play Resident Evil Code Veronica. And we'll probably fight a giant spider or something, I don't know. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Something like that. Her giant queen ant! A beautiful and terrible queen! Alright, see you guys next time. Bye now.